Jacob, I wanted to make you a quick video on the um, snatching and the breathing pattern. I watched your video and I just want to encourage you to um, dive in a little bit more on your forced exhale, trying to get that forced exhale as you straighten your knees so that it's completed before the lockout of your snatch. So I want to demonstrate it for you here just to um, make sure you can hear it for yourself and, and be able to um, modify your breathing pattern to, to hit this correctly. What it will do is it will bring more power to your movement and um, help you have sustainability for the endurance of the snatch test, okay? So, um, so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna do a few and So right now I'm, I'm not breathing, right? So you don't wanna, you wanna finish your forced exhale before the lockout. If I had to go faster, if I was really doing a snatch test right now, I'm gonna speed it up for you. And I want you to see and listen for the forced exhale. And it should always be before the lockout. like and feels like the forced exhale when you do it at the correct time um, you're bringing more power because you're the forced exhale is uh, forcing an abdominal contraction during the right timing of the movement it's going to bring more stability and more power to your movement so it's going to make the snatch work easier if you wait and I'm going to show you kind of what you were doing and I see this a lot in snatching. I'm out of breath. A lot of people do this. So let me show you the incorrect way uh, that is not getting the most use of your power breath, okay? A lot of people will force their exhale off the top. Now, you know, everything can't be perfect. I just want you to know that this is something to work toward uh, for that snatch test. You want to understand that you need to force your exhale when you're straightening your knees, when your body needs it the most, and not at the top of the snatch. This is wrong way. Okay. Um, when you're trying to regain your breath and you're snatching for high volume, there may be an, a second exhale at your lockout. That is not wrong. It's just that right now I want you to understand the power of your forced exhale needs to happen when you straighten your knees before the lockout. So now what I want to demonstrate to you is something that can occur in high rep when you're really trying to um, control your breathing pattern, you're using your forced exhale at the appropriate time, and then you're also giving a second exhale at the top. Um, let me show you what that looks like. And this kind, of, this kind of thing happens by organic nature, if you will, when you are working high repetition for time, or whatever the case, the endurance, you will find that you'll give a forced exhale where it's supposed to be, and then you'll give this natural uh, excess release uh, at the end. So it's going to look and feel something like this. If I speed it up, So 
So that gives you another idea of the fact that you might have a second exhale at the top. And that's not wrong. It's just I want you to get that forced exhale right when you're straightening your knees. If you can do that, you're gonna produce more power. You're gonna have more resiliency in, in terms of stabilizing the movement to protect your spine. Um, and you won't feel like the bell is jerking you around. So try to get that exhale right. And you're doing a really good job at opening your hand at the top. And let's just keep moving forward and increase our endurance so that you can hit that snatch chest at the cert. All right, good luck, you got this.